Here's another idea from the suggestion box, sent in by No Talk Guitar Amps Plugins Reviews. Would you run some sine sweeps in the Axe FX3 versus the FM3 in high gain, same presets? Would love to hear aliasing. Thanks for the suggestion, No Talk Guitar Amp Plugins Reviews. First, let's look into aliasing, then I'll put on my lab coat and we'll run some tests. So just what is aliasing? According to the always 100% totally accurate Wikipedia, in signal processing and related disciplines, aliasing is the overlapping of frequency components resulting from a sample rate below the Nyquist frequency. And according to audiocheck.net, consider a digital audio system and a steadily rising sine wave tone. At lower frequency, the tone is sampled with many points per cycle. As the tone rises in frequency, the cycles get shorter and fewer points are available to describe it. At half the sampling rate, only two samples are available per cycle. We are at the limits stated by Nyquist. Still, those two samples are sufficient to reconstruct the original signal. If the tone keeps on rising, the number of points per cycle becomes inadequate to represent the signal. Those samples will be misinterpreted by the digital to analog converter and will be associated with the wrong frequency. This phenomenon is referred to as aliasing. Well, should we be concerned? Well, real amps don't have aliasing. Modelers will exhibit various degrees of aliasing and you will see and maybe hear frequencies inside the audible band. So the less aliasing, the closer the model is to a real amp. Let's run some tests using an aliasing test file that I downloaded. This will be the input. After the three beep tones, there is a minus three dBFS sweeping sine tone from 24 kilohertz, which is half the sampling rate, down to one kilohertz. As the test starts by playing frequencies that are probably beyond your audible range, you won't hear anything for a moment, except the three starting beep tones. When the frequency under test reaches your audible range, a high-pitched sine tone will be heard, steadily decreasing down to one kilohertz. If you hear anything different, your sound system likely suffers from severe aliasing. In this test, aliasing will appear as frequencies increasing instead of decreasing. In order to run this test, I had to configure each modeler to accept a digital file from my digital audio workstation. That's an easy process. If you're interested, you can check out my video on reamping, which explains how to set up both your modeler and your digital audio workstation to use digital input. I'll put a link in the description. No Talk Guitar Amp Plugins Reviews asked if I would run the sine wave sweep through an EVH preset. The one that I chose is number 295, Later Eddie. When I asked him why, his reply was, the more harmonics you create, the more pronounced the aliasing effects will be noticeable. Some more saturation or gain stages will make the aliasing test more effective. If you look at my project layout in Logic Pro, you can see that the aliasing test file that was used as the input is track 1. The XFX3 track is track 2, the FM9 track is track 3, and the FM3 track is track 4. I'm also using the Voxengo Span plugin, so we can get a visual representation of the aliasing artifacts. First, I'll play the input file. Okay, I hear zero aliasing on my studio playback system, and the span plugin showed nothing. Did you hear anything on your end? Anyway, let's try the Axe FX3. Now the FM9. And 
And finally, the FM3. Well, there you have it, guys. As you probably guessed ahead of time, the Axe FX3 had the least amount of aliasing, and the FM3 had the most amount of aliasing. I don't think that there's any real cause for concern, though. It's just another chunk of data for those guys that are interested in that kind of stuff. I'll leave a link for a video that goes into more detail on aliasing, plus it tests some other modelers as well. Now next Wednesday, we're going to be going back to the factory to take a look at another preset. You do not want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you next week.